And now former Sports Cabinet Secretary Rashid Echesa will spend the night in police custody awaiting a ruling on whether to detain him for seven more days. The former CS was arraigned before the Kiambu Law Courts for allegedly assaulting an independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission official at the Buloga polling station in Matungu constituency, Kakamega County. Days after he was caught in tapes marking an IABC official. <laughs> Rashid Echesa is said to spend another night behind bars. Appearing before Chief Magistrate Patricia Geshohe, the prosecution sought to have Echesa detained for seven days as they conclude investigations. The court will give a ruling on the sought application on Tuesday as the former sports CA spends the night at the Gigiri police station. Rashid Echesa is said to have used force and violence to address an IABC official during a by-election in Matungu on the 4th of March. Meanwhile, South Mugirango Member of Parliament Silvanis Osoro has been arraigned in a Kisi Lokut over malicious damage to property and incitement. Osoro was charged that on the 4th of March at Kiamukama location within Masaba sub-county in Kisi County, jointly with others not before court willfully damaged a motor vehicle windscreen door and window jointly valued at 200,000 Kenyan shillings. The lawmaker pleaded not guilty and was released on a bond of 100,000 shillings and a cash bill of 50,000 shillings with a similar surety. <laughs> But we are also hoping that the police will begin to be careful, even themselves as individual police officers, because they, they, they can't be given orders. But remember, the law says that they, can, they don't have to follow unlawful orders. Mm -hmm. And we don't want any, 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 any drama from the police, because he's been waiting for the last three days for official communication. So we won't, don't want any drama. He's entitled to his freedom. And, but it's also good to find out legally whether there is any concern that the police want. The case will be mentioned on the 22nd of March. Finally, businessman Chris Sobure will now have to wait until the 16th of March for the mentioning of a case in which he is accused of failing to secure his firearm. Obure is accused of allegedly allowing his firearm to be used to commit murder. The prosecution told the court that the trial magistrate was not sitting, prompting the rescheduling of the mention. For Channel 1 News, I'm Sarafina Robbie.